Hey everyone, it's Master Ryan 2368 here. Today I'm going to show you how you can back up your saves via the Retron 5. So once you back up these saves, you can play them on an emulator. You can even convert emulator progress back over to your official games. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this. You probably already have most of what you need lying around, but just in case, let's just go over it all. You're going to need a game you want to back up. You're going to need an SD card, the Retron 5 itself, and a computer. Maybe you could do it with a phone. I wouldn't try it. So if you're watching this because you're interested in buying a device specifically for backing up your saves and playing them on an emulator, the Retro 5 is probably not going to be the device you want to go with. There's specialized devices for each console, but I'm just using Retro 5 because that's what I have lying around. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance, but it should work for any system the Retron 5 supports. As you can see, my profile has around a minute of progress in it. So before I load the game onto the Retron itself, make sure you have your SD card put into the Retron. Then we're going to change a few settings. So start with change your save data location to be on the SD card. If you have save files already, go to File Manager, Internal Storage, SRAM, GBA, or whatever console you have, and choose the save file, press copy. So this will go ahead and copy it over so it's on your SD card. After that, you're going to want to change these settings. So turn it so auto load state is off, auto state cartridge on insertion is off, and automatically import saves when the first run is off. After that, you're ready to go ahead and put your game in. So once you put your game in, it might take a little bit for it to import, but you know, it shouldn't take too long overall. I've sped mine up a little bit though, just to save some time. After it does load though, press game menu, copy save to right from. Hit yes. So occasionally there's an error that does come around here where it says it failed. If that's the case, just plug it back into your Game Boy, then plug it back into the retro. Let's go ahead and test it out now. I'm gonna press play. And as you can see, it does have my progress. So I'm just going to go ahead, get out of the game now, then take the SD card out of my system, and we'll continue on the computer. So if all you want to do is back up your saves to your computer, you can find them right here in this folder on your SD card. Go to Retron, go to Saves, go to SRAM, and then you'll find them within here. From here, you can just copy them over. However, in my case, I want to play them on an emulator. To do that, you're going to need to convert it with this tool that I've linked in the description. To use that tool, just select whatever save file you want, and then drag it over to the website. So I want to use Metroid Zero Mission. I'm going to drag it over here. And then after I drag it over, I'm going to make sure that I've selected Retro 5 format to emulator format. Then press Convert. After a little bit, you'll see a button, press Download that save file. And you can download it and you know it'll be right there. From here, I'm going to move it over to the folder or a folder where I'm going to store it for later on. So I'm just going to paste it over there. And then from here, we're going to load up the emulator. So just load up whatever emulator you have. If you don't have one, I'm using VBA Next, I think. And I mean, it works pretty well. So just open your ROM. And then once you open your ROM, you can play it for any amount of time. You don't even have to reach a save. It will automatically generate a save file. It will work with the emulator. To find the save file, go over to where the ROM is located. So for me, I've put it in a folder called VBA saves. As you can see, there's my ROM, and there's my save file. So to get our old save file working on here, we're basically going to have to rename it to be the name of the new save file. Let's copy over the old save file and paste it into the same folder. Then you're going to rename the older save file so it has the name of the new one that was just generated it. So obviously you can delete the new one if you want. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that for mine. And then after you do that, your save file should be ready to be read by the emulator. Let's just go ahead and check. Go over here, load up our ROM, and then give it a second for it to load. And then, and see if it's loaded on there. And I mean, as you can see right here, it has been loaded on. So with this, you can back up your old games and play them on your computer, which I mean, I find to be awesome. 
But for now, I think I'm going to play a bit more on my computer and get some progress in here. And then we can try to transfer that back over to my cartridge. So as you can see, I played for around four minutes, but I think I'm about ready to play it back on my Game Boy. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of the emulator. And that save file right there is the one that has all my progress. But as you know, the formats that the Retron in the emulator takes are not the same. So I have to use the same tool to convert it back over. The only thing we have to do differently is instead of decode, we press encode. But we can just drag and drop the save right over to there, into the encode, and press convert. And it'll take a second like it did, but it will spit out the right save. We copy this back over to our Retron in the same location where we found it, Retron, Saves, SRAM, GBA, and paste it. So I like to do a little bit something weird here, just to make sure I have an old copy of my saves, because they don't take up that much storage. I like to rename the old copies. The old copies won't be red, but they'll still be on the SD card. It's just nice to give it that way. So for this first one, I'm just going to go ahead and make a copy of it. And then I'm going to rename the first one to be, what did I name it? Before PC. So then I'm going to rename the one that has the new data on it to have the same name that it's supposed to be read by the Retron, if that makes sense. The Metro Zero Mission USA. So I'm just going to type in Metro Zero Mission USA. And then I'm going to name the other one after. And this one is obviously superfluous, but I just like having it, you know, to be, to be thorough. So after we've done this, we can go ahead and eject our SD card and head over back to the retro. So go ahead and put your cartridge into your retron. Mine is loading a little slow, so I had to speed it up, but you know, I'll load eventually. Go to game menu, and press copy, save the cart. If this says failed or anything, just put your cartridge back into your Game Boy or whatever console you have. It might say data was corrupted or something, but for me at least it saved everything. And then once it finally says it worked to copy it over, you're ready to eject it. Okay, so now let's actually just try to see if our profile actually lives on our Game Boy. So we'll go ahead and skip through all the menus and stuff. And I mean, as you can see right there, it is the progress that I got on the emulator. Obviously, a four minute save for this game doesn't really matter. But it's really cool to think that, you know, you could be playing on an emulator save for years and then eventually buy the real game and put it on there. That's just really fascinating to me. And I might have to do that with some emulator games that I have been playing for years. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I love getting comments on my videos. I don't always really respond to them, but I will read each and every one of them. Um, if this video did help you at all, then support me in any way you feel comfortable with doing so. I won't pressure you to subscribe, especially because you, know, you probably found this video from searching up for a super niche thing. But um, anyways, hope you have a good day. Goodbye.